Karen, and it's not just residents affected by the outage. People visiting our city are feeling the effects too. Hotel guests downtown left without uh, being able to take a shower, wash their hands, use any faucets today. Sam Luther joins us now to explain how those hotels are getting creative to accommodate their guests. Sam. Josh and Trisha, that's right. Hotels like the Double Tree in Hampton Inn downtown are finding their water source from their pools, using that water just to be able to flush their toilets. Water's out, so we're gone. A place normally known for vacation now in crisis mode. Some guests of the Double Tree are cutting their stay short. Others are patiently waiting for the water to return. It's day one, and, and they're saying, um, from what I'm hearing, it could be back up um, later on today, so I don't see as, as that big of a convenience right now anyway. The Doubletree and Hampton Inn both share something in common. They're turning to their pools to accommodate guests. <laughs> Taking water from the pool into these buckets, carting them throughout the hotel. All this just to flush the toilet. The Double Tree says this pool water is still safe to swim in, but showers and sinks are still dry. This is one of them things in life that's nobody's fault, so you just uh, make the best of it. Many realizing now just how important that H2O really is. You think about losing power, you know, any number of things, but you never think about the water being off. It has been really strange. Now, right now, the Double Tree is still accepting guests, but warning them of the water issue and trying to get them to a place that does have water. Josh. Sam, thank you. Originally, we were told 8 p.m. was when the water could be back on, but that has been since extended to a later unknown time.